לא בחוזה שלי המקום הזה. לאיפה הבאת אותי, ילד יפה? ארקנסו. ארקנסו? יש פה יהודים ואוכל וזה. איפה היהודים, עמי? על העצים? טוב, אני הולך לחפש לי משהו מתוק. ברוכים הבאים להמשך המסע שלנו, ואחרי שנפרדנו ממפיס בפרק הקודם, הגענו לארקנסו, מדינה שמרנית מאוד בדרום ארצות הברית. אז מה היהודים עושים פה? וכמה בכלל יש? הגענו לעיר קטנה בשם הוט ספרינגס כדי לבדוק את זה. פה, במקום הזה, שהרבה אופציות אין פה, מצאנו מאפייה יהודית. קבלו אותה. <laughs> ביי, דברי איתי. גם בשממה הזאת מצאנו יהודייה. Hello, Millie. Nice Hello. to meet you. Hello. Do you speak Hebrew? Ketzat. Ketzat? I didn't think that here in Hot Springs, I found a place like this, with such a beautiful place and beautiful place like Millie. So before we begin, can I get you some things to eat? Yes. Okay, just one minute. Let's Jewish things up. Your special day right. is here at last. This yeah, we've had the bakery about 28 years now. And do you have like Jewish community around here? Very small, very, very, very small. small. In our congregation, I think we have about 50 families. 50 families? And families, that sometimes is one person. So, <laughs> but it's where I grew up and um, this is home. This is where I was born. Uh -huh. Yeah. Me and Bill Clinton. I even one time made Bill and Hillary Clinton cookies with cut out cookies that, for his birthday. Hooray, hooray, today's your day. Wow. Is it time for the kitchen? I'm not sure I'm not sure. Wow, this is hysterical. Okay. okay. Nice fresh spinach. Wow. So the idea for the Borekas came from your visit in Israel? Well, yeah, well, I lived in Jerusalem. One of my favorite things to go have Lots Borekas. Lots of surprises, Millie. <laughs> I went to school there. Which one? Hebrew University. Is there a song that you love? David Broza. David Broza? Uh-huh. Did you bring him? מי שיאכל פה בבייקרי יקבל כרטיס למופע זריחה של דיוויד ברוזה, מצדה. Wow. You save room for some other goodies. You can't eat all of it. I can't stop, sorry. <laughs> What's your favorite pastry in this bakery? Oh, definitely the rucola. And that was my grandmother's recipe. And we have raspberry and apricot. Wow. Poor thing. <laughs> it's a big bite. That will make you move to hot springs. I'll bring my suitcase. <laughs> wow. You're gonna need some water. <laughs> Most of your customers are like non-Jewish. and oh, definitely. They, and they come and they buy the, the challah. It's on our sign written braided bread and it says challah. Some people know, but a lot of people buy it to make French toast. There's a hotel downtown that buys it for that. So they serve their guests French toast made with our challah. We'll bake a cake, cause we can't wait. We can't wait to celebrate with you. But I want to come show you in the kitchen how they make all of this. Okay. You want a tour? Yeah, of course. Okay. We're going to meet the challah maker? Yes, the challah maker. That's uh, the name of my next movie, the challah maker. There's a movie that's here, the challah maker. Look at the camera. One day, a young man came in the morning and said, there are only 50 Jewish families in Hot Springs. He said, what can I do? What can I do for my family, for my family? I don't know what I can do. I will be the challah maker. People all over the world will smell my challah, and they will come. And in the end of the day, there are 53 families. To 
שיהיה דה חלה מייקר 2. This is Kevin Coleman. He is the man who made all this beautiful challah today. Who gave you the recipe? This one came from a, a cookbook called The Jewish Baker. The Jewish Baker? Uh-huh. Yeah. You're the Jewish Baker, Kevin. <laughs> I am today. <laughs> הוצאתי את הנשק הסודי שלי, זאטר. כל העובדים התנפלו על זה, מה זה התנפלו? יש שם מישהי שפשוט לקחה את כל החלה, ופשוט שמה אותה, טבלה אותה בתוך הזאטר ושמן זית. I'm the Hala Eater. If you didn't know why we call it the place Hot Springs, the shelling is up. And the water is just... פותחים יותר ממה שחשבתי, וזאת הזדמנות. בשלג, הבאתי איתי מהבית כוס, ממלאים אותה במים רותחים. חיים. עכשיו, אחרי שהבנו למה קוראים למקום הזה Hot Springs, יוסי, ישראלי שגר פה כבר עשרות שנים, ייקח אותנו לארוחת שישי בסגנון דרומי בבית שלו. אורי, אתה אתה... Welcome to Hot Springs, Arkansas. I'm worried. Nice to meet you, Ori. Nice to have you in Arkansas. These are Southern traditional recipes. Can you please tell me what are we having here? Okay, this is macaroni, um, lots of butter, um, a little evaporated milk, and cheddar cheese. And then you mix it together and bake it. This is green beans with cream of mushroom soup topped with fried onions. So this is kind of our Southern Jewish kind of dinner. Yes. That's good. בגדול, אנחנו מסודרים. יש לנו גם יהודים וגם אוכל פה. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר קידשנו במצוותיו, וציוונו להדליק נר של שבת. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, בורא פרי הגפן. Do you know how many families, like Jewish families, uh, are now in uh, Arkansas? Well, I can tell you in, in uh, Little Rock, they have about 400 families there. Here, we have maybe 31 families, 40 families, wow. not even that. So we are the community right now. Well, we're very, yes, we're a hey, big part of the community, Hot right? Springs. Yeah. Hot Springs. And most of that community is, I mean, I don't want to sound bad, but it's an elder, uh, elder people, like us. Yeah. yeah. I know we don't look like it, but we're <laughs> old. I am in the same boat. I'm just looking young. A lot of buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of them. I will turn 60 nope. next month. Yeah, Can right. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about happy things. Racism. Do you feel it in here? I mean, I don't know. I don't feel it, it on, on, you know, on every day. You might hear it. Like behind your behind back. Behind your back. What happened in the United States in the last few years, there was a lot of attack on Jewish synagogues and communities. And, and we just, in the last few weeks, brought up the, the fact that we need to up our security in our temple, in our synagogue, because of the of what's happened. And Arkansas, and I'm not having any problem to say that, it's a big base for, um, I call them radical, what, right wings? I don't, I, I, I never felt like I'm afraid to go anywhere or Insecure. because I'm Jewish or anything like that. 
uh, not in hot spring, but I know it's not getting any better, it's getting worse. Are you afraid that one day the community will disappear? Oh, yeah. I think about it because I've been so involved in the congregation and been such a part of it for so many years. And I think for me, I'm not speaking for the congregation, but COVID has played a big part. I think we're just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Our kids aren't coming back and people and have- we lose people. And I mean, people, people have passed well, away yeah. that you would think would be around forever and ever, and they're not. And it's very, very, very sad. Currently, we have one family that has children under the bar mitzvah, bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah age, and they got a little rock for, for education. And so there's three, three kids there, and that's the end of the kids. I can't imagine this congregation not being there. There's ebbs and flows in what happens with the congregation and the community. And, and that there is hope that more people will come in. There might be something that attracts a lot of people. We might get something here that's attractive. Like documentaries, like what a great place <laughs> this is to live and people will move into our community. Younger people maybe will move here. There will be a percentage that will be Jewish. And so there's maybe one last hope, just one, to reestablish the community. Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, we're still here. We're, we're here. here. Cheers. Mm. Huh? Who's going to be the first one to try it? Wow. I, the, wow. Icing, the icing on this cake oh, is it's, to, it's die to die for. for. This is banana pudding. This is a recipe that I learned to make when I was about 10 years old. Bananas, vanilla wafers, and a custard. And you had to stir it. Actually, that's, that's for you. That's for me. Uh, I already have a spoon. Uh, enjoy. You. I have a gift for you. And this mm. is from our little, little small and getting smaller congregation. It's a recipe book that we made. It was a pleasure having you from all your new friends in Hot Springs. <laughs>